Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob, and as I always say, I am here for customer success. I'm here for you all to give you as much information as possible to get you really comfortable utilizing Floor Planner. And, and we'd like to make these videos monthly uh, to talk about the new features and tools that were released in the previous month. So we're going to be talking today about some new advances that have been added to your Floor Planner platform for the month of September 2022. Um, and again, just let's start with a reminder as to where you find a list of those advances that are occurring monthly. Um, if you go to your floorplanner.com platform and go ahead and log in, upper left-hand corner, the four little squares up there in the upper left-hand corner, that's the tab for your profile. If you select that, it'll be your profile, tells you all about you and your account. And most importantly, over here on the right-hand side, in the right-hand sidebar, there's a set section in here for new features. And the programmers over in the Netherlands will list those new features right up here with the most current posted up here at the top. Um, but you can also hit the More button over here on the right-hand side, which will actually take you to this link where you would actually see all of the updates, where you can scroll through back in history and uh, at a very quick glance, see all these new advances that have occurred over the previous months. Um, and this is where we left off last time with the last recording, talking about a really innovative new feature with Inside Floor Planner, style boards. I hope you've had a chance to explore more about style boards. Um, this is still uh, an early release on, on this new feature, uh, which is continuing to develop and get better and better. So do keep coming back and keeping a peek at how style boards is progressing as a tool for you. Um, but like I said, you can scroll back in time and just go ahead and look at all these other items that we've, of course, talked about in the past. But we want to talk currently uh, about what has occurred in the month of September. There's three new tools, uh, features that are now available to you on your platform. Um, we're going to be talking about these three uh, filter for resizable items. We're also going to talk about the new brands that have been added to your library for the 3D library. And really cool feature out there, better mobile support, smaller, smaller devices that you utilize and uh, the compat compatibility working with Floor Planner's platform on something very, very, very small. So I think you'll enjoy this also. So let's take a peek back here and let, let's get started. Let's, let's look at this uh, first of the three that we were talking about. Um, filter for resizable items. Um, as you know, the original inventory with Inside Floor Planner, the over 150,000 assets of three-dimensional items, the furniture and including the accessories um, when first launched, those items for the most part within the general library of Floor Planner had the, and still do, had the ability to change the size of that 3D model piece in the width length and height of those items um, just by you entering those specific dimensions. Um, since we've been adding brands to our collections, you've been gaining access to many, many, many more three-dimensional assets of actual retailers and vendors uh, from around the world. And those items are, you know, real items. So they're kind of locked into their sizes. So you, you don't have that same freedom. And uh, the search, I think, has been a little challenging in the past, saying, well, some you can resize and some you can't resize. But sometimes you just really want to um, find something similar in style and make it the exact dimensions of maybe your client's existing product and or something that you're specifying. And uh, until now, it's been maybe a little challenging to filter through both of those. Um, so now there is actually a selection tab out there that you can select when you're doing your search through the three-dimensional assets with the little furniture icon on the left-hand side, where you now have this new tab. If you select this for show only resizable items, it's exactly what it is. So you can actually filter only to see items that you can adjust dimensions while you're doing your search. Um, let's go ahead and take a peek at that. Let's just hop into Floor Planner for a second. Back into my dashboard, uh, go to my projects, and let's just go ahead and open up something, maybe an empty plan. I'll just double click on this particular one. And go into our furniture tab. I was tracing a background. I think I'll just turn that off. It's, uh, my B key is my shortcut for that. Just type my B key, turns off the background. 
Now we're looking at our plan view inside here. And if we're searching for additional furniture to go into this room, obviously on the left-hand side, there's your furniture tab, which is not just furniture. It's all of your three-dimensional assets that are available to you inside the floor planner library, subdivided into these classifications over here on the left-hand side. You know, over 150,000 items is a lot of them. So you can narrow down your search by the subclassifications. Maybe we're looking for just within the living room over here. And there's that tab over there now available to you with this new feature from last month. So show only resizable items in this selection over here for the living rooms. If you select that tab, these items will allow you to change the dimensions. Maybe this particular chair is a style that you like, its color, its leg shape, but maybe you want the exact dimensions. Knowing that it's a resizable item, I could just go ahead and put this inside my plan, left click on this particular item, and on the left hand side, go to its settings, and there it is. The length, the width, and the height of that item can all be changed. If I want to change it to maybe 42 inches, and change its width to maybe 42, make it square. And I could even change the height if I wanted to, and that particular 3D model has now been resized. So that's how you can filter to just be searching for uniquely resizable items. Uh, let's go back to our updates. Go to our second one up here. And as I started to mention earlier, you know, we had the original generic uh, three-dimensional assets that were available to you previously. And then we've been increasing over the past years to add brands and different retailers and different vendors. And the list is continuing to grow. Um, we've added some new brands, including the one of the leading Dutch furniture retailers over there in Europe, uh, Riviera Maison. Um, so specifically, let's make sure we can show you where those brands are also. So we'll go back into my floor plan platform. And, and as I said, we were searching for the generics inside. We'll just go backwards for a second. So this is the categories, which I'm calling generic, you know, your general items with inside floor plan or your assets. But if you hop over to the brands tab over here at the top, you will see the different retailers and now vendors that are coming aboard with Floor Planner that are also sharing their three-dimensional assets with you. And there have been additions in here, as we just mentioned, just to pinpoint on one specifically, as noted, uh, the Riviera Maison, uh, they're now to date, uh, live right now, 787 different items from their collection. So if you just go ahead and select on that tab, you're going to see just their collection over here. And you can go ahead and say, let's see all of those particular products. And here they come. And they're also subdivided as to the categories that are available to you there through these particular items through this specific design retailer. Uh, so yeah, keep, keep watch on this. This list is growing. Uh, so just keep watching for the additional brands that are going to be showcased. And if we just go back to brands over here, you'll see them, of course, all listed over here on the left-hand side. Now let's go back to our updates again. And the last feature we want to talk about today, I think this is totally awesome. Because I always get the question on this, like, you know, better mobile support. Uh, we have significantly improved the capabilities of Floor Planner when it is used on a phone or any other small screen device. Um, I've been in the years working, the smallest I've been working with are iPads, which work really, really well for me, especially with the new three-dimensional asset 3D handles on the assets inside when you're working inside Floor Planner, using your finger to navigate around or a stylus or an Apple Pencil. Um, I've never really been too happy to try to work on a phone because it's that's pretty small. It's a pretty small device platform to be working with. Your actual your display screen is pretty teeny. Um, but there have been some advances that have been made to at least give you that accessibility. Yeah, even with your phone. Um, so let me, I actually took some time to go ahead and, and perform the same act on my phone. I happen to have an iPhone and it is a uh, version 13. Um, so I did a little screenshots on there and a little video clip, maybe just to give you a little demo as to how this new adjustment has made it truly accessible. Um, starting with when you go ahead and log in, typically like you do from your computer, but log in from your phone. Um, I happen to choose to use uh, my browser as Google Chrome. So I have a Google Chrome app logged into it. And then of course, uh, here's my screen that I went ahead and pulled up. 
to go ahead and see this uh, on my phone. So it's just a screenshot of my phone as to how it actually appeared in scale. Um, and certainly down here, we can go ahead and say where it says sign up for free. Of course, you already have an account with Floor Planner, but this will take you to another screen that will showcase here. There's one little tab down here at the bottom that says if you've already got an account, because you're not trying to create a brand new account, you already have an existing account, you can go down here and just say log in. So if you hit that login, it'll take you to another page where you actually enter in your email address, the password that you've assigned with your floor planner account, and then go ahead and go live into the platform. And I made a little video clip on this to maybe show you a sense of what comes up on my screen. Um, this is uh, a full screenshot of my phone. Um, I tilted it so it would be a landscape format. It's just my preference to be working with. A um, little different than your layout on your computer, but it is accessible um, and you can scroll up and down through these features. Just play out this video just for a second. Just a couple of minutes going on. So I'm at my profile tab and of course at my right hand sidebar that we were talking about previously and there's those new features <laughs> that are of course listed over here on the right hand side. So you can actually view them from your phone if you want to or scroll down to the additional features including the videos and recordings uh, that are available to you. So it's really giving you the extent that you can actually work within the entire program, even on a platform so small as your phone, selecting my projects over here on the left hand side, showcasing them and scrolling through them on my right hand side to find a project that I might want to open. And all the features that are available to me with that project and just hitting the open tab over there goes out to the cloud. Of course, you connect to the internet through your Wi Fi or through your device and then open up the project. There's my plan view of it on the right-hand side. I'm just changing out with the selection tabs up here as to how I want to view that two-dimensional image with materials or a black, black line a wireframe drawing or with the different room styles with the color blocking system that's available to you. Then we can, of course, go over here on the left-hand side. We can still do the features with drawing walls, drawing surfaces, um, certainly going over to the furniture tab over there and also the exports and the exports that are stored out in the cloud with that particular project you can now view them directly on your device um, we can certainly then of course hop into 3d <laughs> and the tabs are there like i said it looks a little different than it does on your computer but because you're working on such a small device you have to be able to select those buttons and tabs but still see the work uh, I think you'll find this is really advantageous for those times that you really need to be uh, having access to your project. Maybe you didn't have your iPad with you at that time, or you couldn't get to a computer quickly enough. But there's a lot of features that you can pull up that project and have access to it and still have the ability to view it on a device with a very small screen. So I think you'll, you'll enjoy these new features that have now been released to, to give you this new power to work with even smaller devices. Um, and that really is going to wrap us up for today. So I appreciate your time as always. Let's go and close that out and close out that window. And that's where we left off for talking about last month for September 2022. Uh, let's not forget with the new feature with your mobile device in the right hand sidebar when you're on your profile tab you do have the very top icon in there which is where you can register for the free live webinars offered on tuesdays and thursdays so i hope to see you at one of our future webinars we have the intro webinars advanced tools webinars a lot of information available to you so again hope to see you at a future webinar until then have a great day and i'll see you again next month for our next set of recordings have a great day thank you